Something that I have long preached on and teached on is the concept of people who lie versus people who do not disclose. A person who lies blatantly and all the time is someone who just does that, who literally obliterates the truth, ruins the facts, and just does so for the fun or the thrill of it. Someone who has information that they choose not to disclose is someone who is protecting proprietary information or confidentiality of a corporation or simply private conversations that happen between two people. There are other aspects of a person's life that we don't disclose. It is considered impolite to disclose your salary to someone. It is considered immoral to disclose your sexuality and sexual preference to someone if there's no possibility of you becoming an intimate partner. There is irrationality which says I will do whatever I like and then there's reality that sets in that says you know you might do what you like but you still have a liability to what you like. In America we have the right to say I'm afraid I can't talk about that because of proprietary agreements and that means that there's corporate level executive decisions and agreements that are probably written in terms of contracts that allows us the opportunities to vend products or to sell ourselves. In life we have moments of time to recognize law and the truth is every aspect of an adult's life is based on the law. So when we pretend that the law doesn't matter, when we pretend in a way that it makes a life shatter, we really have gotten ourselves outside of the Lord's house. You see, God knows that in his house there are many rooms, which implies that all kinds of people from all walks of life and all areas of diversity will be served and will be residing in heaven when they are called home. At the same time, we are quite familiar with different aspects of our culture that insinuate that there is some sort of hell. The reality is many of us think we have driven through hell, walked through hell, flown through hell on a wing and a prayer meaning our life has taken a turn for the worse and we want to blame people but we really can't because the truth is we are liable for our own lives and we are liable before the Lord. So when you're liable before God you think, hmm, I can make the decision on this by myself or I could have some serious angel help assigned to me by God. And in my choice, my preference is to listen to the Lord, to follow his countenance and to trust in the Lord. Some days are harder than others. In life, we have moments of time to recognize our responsibilities, to take our accountabilities, and to present the best us we can.